Hey everyone, this is Kristen Sherry. I am walking through my book, Maximize 365, A Year of Actionable Tips to Transform Your Life. I just finished up the emotional wellness section of the health and wellness chapter, and now we're moving on to environmental wellness. So today we're gonna to talk about forest bathing. And John Muir says, in every walk with nature, one receives far more than he seeks. A decades old practice from Japan known as Shinrin Yoku, which means taking in the forest is becoming popular for improved health. There's research on forest bathing and what they found is that a leisurely walk in the forest for 20 minutes boosts your mood. And not only that, it tends to lower the stress hormone cortisol and that's over, over other activities as well. It's one of the top ways to reduce cortisol. And in addition, it appears to decrease depression levels in adults and boost the activity of antibodies, which help fight off infections and cancer. The fragrant substances produced by plants and trees have been linked with lower inflammation and brain protection benefits. So you can search online for forested areas within a reasonable distance from you. So your idea for action is to engage in forest bathing. You wanna walk at a slow pace without jogging or running for at least 20 minutes a few times weekly. Take your time to look around you on your wooded path. Engage your senses and observe your surroundings. Stop every so often and sit, look up and around, breathe in deeply and focus on the sounds that you hear. That helps you become present so that you're not worrying or thinking about other things, but what are things I can see? What can I smell? What can I hear? What do I taste right now? And that practice will help boost your mood and you can get up to a 12 hour mood boost from a forest walk. So if you've ever tried forest walking, tell us about it in the comments. Take care.